GMs and bad players. Finally get a game going now that Corona is letting off in my area. I'm DMing but my brother is the one with friends and social connections and whatnot, so he got us the players. <laughs> <laughs> okay then, yeah, sure. Fucking all of them are awful. Other than my brother. Only one out of the five have ever even played a tabletop role playing game before. Skinny fat wannabe Chad plays a lawful good human paladin, but doesn't seem to understand that following your oaths is not optional. Explain to him that since he's constantly murdering surrendering enemies, <laughs> arguing over loot, and lashing out at other PCs, he's in danger of falling. No Anon, I don't think I am. This is my character and I think I get to decide how his story goes. Admittedly super cute co-ed chick playing a social justice ranger of all fucking things. Pick the class that literally has talents for racial persecution but is constantly resisting the idea that enemies are evil. Wants to redeem them but wants the paladin and druid to do the work. Spends 80% of each session on her phone. Her roleplay voice sounds like fucking Betty Boop. <laughs> oh god no. Make the ping go away. <laughs> Stereotypical neckbeard who's actually really kind and supportive. Odd. Eh, most neckbeards aren't that well, bad. Yeah. Yeah, you're not that bad. Alright, well. <laughs> Always brings snacks and beer. Uses druid abilities mostly to buff and set up other players to do cool shit. Actively unpleasant to perceive. Super ugly and unkempt. Smells bad. Chews with his mouth open. Never does anything outside of combat. Brother's girlfriend basically expects his PC to treat her PC like they're in a relationship. When she's playing a redeemed orcish rapist. <laughs> Nice. That was literally her pitch when he's playing a high elf academic. <laughs> Is this one of those like schnoo schnoo memes going <laughs> yeah. on there? Expects to get preferential treatment. Expects him to intercede if I, being any NPC, dice roll or act of God, do anything she doesn't like. Brother, a fairly experienced player, but insists on bending over for every other player every time. Even for the tiniest most insane shit like a bad damage roll. Come on, dude. She just had bad luck. Can't we ignore the role? Complain about your players. I have to say, this is possibly the biggest beat thread we've ever came across. I love the Reddit spacing. It's, uh, it's peaks, what it is. <laughs> um, you know, I, I just can't help but feel like, well, if you insist. <laughs> I can't say no. <laughs> but no, honestly, like, it's one of those ones. Like, you know, he's playing with people that have never played before. And they, yeah. like, you know, they're not going to be playing very seriously. They just want to arse about. Yeah. You know, you got to pick a group, you know? And exactly. I don't think he, he's going to. And he gonna... didn't pick his group, his brother did. <laughs> well, I don't know. Get meats. I don't know. Find friends. <laughs> Play something. I don't know. Neckbeard soy player. Plays homebrew special snowflake classes and races that DM nerfs not to be OP. Never does anything that the classes are supposed to do, i.e. check for a chest for traps, which results in her sorcerer permanently losing an eye. Never role plays, contributes to the party. Gets mad when real consequences start to show up. Says the DM wants to kill all of us. Now starting to show up two hours late and expects to be allowed in the session after started. Even though we waited half an hour for him before starting. I wouldn't wait half an hour no, for I someone. Wait. Well, <sighs> it depends if they if they said, look, I'm coming, I'm literally running yeah. late, getting rolled off. That's different. I don't mind But that. if they don't give you a heads up, like, look, I'm going to be running late. If they don't give you that, fuck you. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. If it's over halfway through the session, it's like, nah, I think it's a bit late. But, like, you know, if it's only the first, like, 10, 15 minutes. Oh, so I, oh, oh, oh uh, a random player just falls from the sky. They were there the whole time. Yeah. Sorry about that, guys. <laughs> you know? I don't know. I, I would be happy if he was showing up late and late. Um, Means you don't need to play them. <laughs> exactly, you know. My only complaint I have for my current players is one guy spends fucking 10 seconds or more jangling his dice before actually rolling them. Like Jesus Christ did. Just drop them already. You don't have to give them a professional massage each time. I, feel, I do that. <laughs> I, 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 I am feeling personally victimized. <laughs> it's a good luck thing, okay? It's not you, even good luck. I like to fill my dice. <laughs> like, I like my clink clang locks, okay? <laughs> Most of my players aren't that bad. Since we're playing Dungeon Crawl Classics, it removes a lot of the issues I typically have with players. Min maxing, looking up monster stats, having the par gamer dictate what every other player does on level up. Wife tries to befriend every creature and gets a bit grumpy when a ruling doesn't go her way. If you have multiple characters, then they split XP. But she's doing pretty well considering it's her first role playing game. Incel got butt hurt that he wasn't the centre of attention, 
So he literally got up and left halfway through his first session. He hasn't been back. That can only be a good thing. Only be a good thing. Thin Boy uses a ridiculously high-pitched voice when role-playing his female character. Hello! <laughs> <laughs> Hello! Is, is this going to be like Mrs. Hello, good lady! <laughs> like, shit to your Mrs. Uh, Hello! Like, oh, God, no. <laughs> I honestly couldn't imagine anything more quick <laughs> than a fella trying to do, like, a female voice. Robert, no. No, I, no, just don't bother. What's your female voice? I don't have it. I don't do voices. But what's your female voice? Hello. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, I'd fucking run away from no. her. <laughs> he also really wishes we were playing 5th edition, so he could show off the build that he found on the internet. Cringe. Thin Boy's girlfriend wants every character to fuck. Oh my god. Oh no. Uh. Uh, <laughs> okay, maybe she's got a, I don't know, maybe a gangbang fetish or something, maybe. Old co-worker is actually pretty good considering he's only played 5th edition. Co-worker's daughter is doing really well. But she's clearly having more fun in an evil campaign. Old roommate also wishes we were playing 5th edition, or 3.5. But in game, he's been playing pretty well. Eh, it's not really anything not, there. No, uh, there's been a lot worse. No. That's the only, mild. like, <laughs> whenever I say only, like, sexual thing I do in games <laughs> is what was that? Um. The, the Spear of Annihilation. Yeah. Megan. I just wanted people to put their dick in it to see if it worked. <laughs> right, okay. So, um, at the minute, uh, we've been going through the Lich's Tomb. We're near the end. Hopefully, this Sunday session, we'll finish it off. We've been there for three sessions. Yeah. Um, we walked down the first hallway. We found a Spear of Annihilation. We didn't know what it was until, like, two sessions. Yeah, then. we didn't know what it was. Um, and I was trying to get people to stick their hands in it. And I said, no, put your dick in it instead. Just put your dick in. No. And everybody's like, no. I was no. like, put your dick in! <laughs> <laughs> Just do it. I, I don't know. Like, we end up working out basically when a sheep into it. Oh, and the sheep was yeah, gone. <laughs> like, oh, okay then. Stereotypical neckbeard. Smells bad. Looks disgusting. Never wears shoes. <laughs> What do you mean he doesn't wear shoes? Never wears shoes that hide his overgrown toes. Oh, oh, right. oh so he's wearing sandals. Oh, my God. I, I, I got confused. The next there. one has been kinks. What? Has fingernails like a bag lady. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, everywhere you go, he's got a bag lady. Oh, uh, don't. Is a math major and makes sure everyone is reminded of it. Oh, God. Even though he's a fucking moron. When we first started, he'd count my damage rolls out loud as I rolled them. I feel victimized. <laughs> <laughs> I was actively counting them to myself. Had to get the GM to make him stop. Whenever someone looks up a rolling, including the GM, he always stops whatever he's doing and looks it up on his phone at the same time, even if it has nothing to do with him. Never stops rolling dice. <laughs> insists that certain dice are lucky or unlucky based on arbitrary rules as he does at random. Oh god. Never shuts the fuck up either, especially about his builds. Will literally talk out loud to himself while others are doing role playing. Every character has the exact same personality and goal. I want to kill people with my munchkin abilities. Oh, <laughs> I really want to know what he's playing um, like. Yeah. Actively ignores roleplay hooks from party members, then sits quietly looking pouty as we roleplay amongst ourselves until combat starts. GM, can I make a random unprompted perception check to figure out this enemy's captain's exact AC? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. No, you can tell he's wearing armour though. Seize! <laughs> <sighs> like, I want to give the guy a chance, because he's nice enough outside of these things, and I can tell he doesn't have many friends, but holy fuck. I don't know, like, some people just can't help themselves. Yeah, some people just can't. You know, it's like, like, you know how it is. Just put your fucking toes away, mate. Cut <laughs> <laughs> like, your, your toenails. <laughs> yeah, get, get that sorted out, mate, and then start working on everything else. <laughs> One female player plays a male orc who wants to rape everything. One male player plays a female gnome who wants to get raped by everything. Oh my god. <laughs> They won't even fuck off the magical realm by themselves because ruggy no fuck shorties. <laughs> Interesting group you got there, mate. Yeah. This is where I would put a rant if I had one. One of my two regular players, one is a meme lord who's able to turn his ship hosting on and off, depending on tone, and the other is a cinnamon bun who's always fun to be around. The drop-ins don't mess with anything and generally fit in well. Just a good grip. But this one time... <laughs> 
<laughs> but there's one Sometime. time. I occasionally GM for an organised play Discord server when not doing things with my main group. Nice guys for the most part. New guy joins. Sweet. Profile pick is an anthro. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> Says he's playing an OC with a backstory that makes no sense in the setting. Paladin in a loincloth. Furry, half-dragon, dog person character. Literal first question is, how much would it cost to pay a dragon to breed with my dire wolf mind? Um. Explains why this doesn't work and try to explain why it's fucked up without being rude. Keeps asking. Gets more and more yiff with each asking. Oh. Asks if he can make a dire wolf half dragon mount his cousin. Turns out that, shocker, he had a breeding fetish. Eventually stops after he goes to bed IRL. Next day he posts pirate link. Gets a strike from the mods because it breaks the rules and could get the server nuked, in theory. Day after he rules lawyers for 6 hours in chat. Asking to use a banned template. Gets a second strike. Next day he posts something in chat that was so disturbing that a mod banned him before anyone else saw it, claiming that it was his third strike for violating rules against sexual content, as well as the rule that lists mentions of rape, racism, sexism, etc. under it. TLDR, Furry got banned before he even played a game. <laughs> That's not shocking, to be honest no. with you. The amount of times I've came across this exact story is ridiculous. It's yeah. always a way. Yeah. It's always a scene. You know the way. It's always a scene. Hey guys, this is just a quick bit of promo. We got our website up and running and we have a massive restock on most of the models. However, one of the cool things about the website is if there's a model that you're waiting on, you can enter your email and be put on a waiting list. And it's not just good for you so then you'll know when they're restocked. We can also see what you guys are waiting on and what we should be printing. <laughs> so either way, the models are by far the best way to support this channel and to help us do videos that YouTube would find inappropriate on the platform. <laughs> And, um, like, let's be serious, the models are pretty based looking, so, once again, just look at the titties. Look at the lizard titties! <laughs> but anyway, let's continue on with the video. Played a game of D&D 5th edition where we started at level 21. I played a paladin named Desmond, and killed Strahd in my session 0. Started with 27 AC. Game ended up being a massive boss fight showcase, with a little story. Still loved it. Session 1. Meet the rest of the party. Warlock, Minotaur... Wizard and Fighter. Fighter was playing a weeb samurai. This should already set an idea for what kind of person he was. Demon invasion begins, and we all start fighting together. Use a key I got in my session zero that unlocked a massive ship, and we search it, and get it up and running. We find a cool chainsaw sword that I get because I discovered the ship. Weeb immediately starts baby rage, yelling about how he deserved it because he had more attacks per round, and only he could use it to its best potential. No. <laughs> no, that's no. not how it works. <laughs> Go away. Everyone in the game, not being seven years old, vote to kick him off immediately. Next session, he gets eaten by a kraken. After this, he would invade the chat we used, played on a Discord, and would complain and say how we didn't give him a chance and tried to report us to the mods for discrimination. <laughs> oh, that explains a lot. <laughs> mods hated him too, yeah, well. He got banned like five months later. We still celebrate it as a holiday. <laughs> oh, sweet. See if we start like, you know, like, like boy, I'm telling you how it is. No. No. See you about. You know, I'm sorry. Not interested. Yeah. And then he comes back and say, no, can you do like, like me? I wouldn't want to play with people. Yeah, like don't play D&D &D and act like you're entitled to anything because <sighs> nobody's entitled to nothing. <laughs> no, sadly not. Session one came around and everyone made a character that didn't follow the rules. One guy brought a 3.5 character to a 5th edition game. <laughs> Shut up, it's hard to find players. One guy made a blood hunter with homebrew feats. <sighs> One guy had 20s in all his stats because he rolled at home. <laughs> 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 uh, I see what you did there. <laughs> One girl played a... I honestly don't know what the fuck it was. It was her first game and she just brought an NPC fighter stat block. Ironically, she was the least rules breaky. I spent half of the playing time, three IRL hours, fixing their characters and making new ones. Mr. 3.5 had a higher optimised cleric and apparently misinterpreted a message to think that it was a 3.5 game. Ended up making a war cleric dwarf instead. Was cool for the most part. At first, anyway. The homebrewer in the crit roll hoodie. <laughs> the homebrewer in the crit roll hoodie thought that Bloodhunter was official for some reason argued for 20 minutes about why it should be allowed 
I eventually just told them to remove the feet and play the damn thing. All 20s got mad when I told them to re-roll or use standard array, so they took their optimised Blade Singer Monk multi-class with 25 AC and left. <laughs> First time, I just gave her a champion fighter sheet I had handy, and she was fine. Well, that's one good one. Yeah. The rest of the session, Crit Roll was acting like an edgy OC and making anime references while making themselves the protagonist. 3.5 trolled them whenever they could, which almost resulted in duels. First time couldn't roleplay to save her life, but she was nice. Had to help her find the modifiers once or twice. Uh, that's not bad for a first timer. Yeah, honestly, like, that's not bad. You expect to help a first timer? Yeah, I don't mind that. Boss fight rolls around and crit roll is gimming it up and making stupid choices left and right, almost getting themselves killed. They eventually kill the dragon boss I toned down to work for three players. Crit roll starts complaining about how I ran the boss, says I made it too hard. But you didn't die though. 3.5 laughed at them and said that he was just a shit player. True, mind you. <laughs> Taking turns to argue turns to yelling, as it predictably would. Predictably, the blood hunter who dumped intelligence and made charisma their highest star lost to the dwarf cleric who spammed spiritual weapon and spirit guardians. Crit roll goes down pretty fast and 3.5 kills their character with a battle axe. Was trying not to smile at this point. 3.5 was a power gamer rules lawyer, but this was funny. Crit Roll yells at him, saying that was uncalled for. Well, real games don't go like your faggoty podcast. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> it was at this point that I realised that I had put myself in an IRL approximation of a TG discussion. <laughs> also, if you're seeing this 3.5, don't act like an idiot about it. Things turn from a shouting match into your real fucking fist fight. Oh, here Ooh. we go. First time steps back and I fall down as the two of them knock over the table to get to each other. Game store manager kicks us all out and now we're all banned. It's the only game store like that in our area at the time. And even it's closed permanently now. Seriously, fuck those two. Oh, I, f I feel so bad for this fellow. Oh. I feel bad for him, and I feel bad for that girl who just showed up. Yeah, she's, <laughs> she's probably wrote a story about my first time playing D&D. &D. These two absolute assholes. <laughs> they did it for everyone. Yeah. <laughs> Something like that, anyway. Running Starfinder to promote an everything but D&D 5th edition server. Get saddled with some fragile special snowflakes. Super hesitant about trying new systems, and have to carefully ease them into the groove of things. I'm actually pretty okay with this, as the more people that try different systems, the better it is for the hobby as a whole in my eyes. Session zero, the problems begin. All right, guys, let's get ready for this science fantasy campaign. You've all built your characters, so clearly you have at least some sort of goal in mind with them. Something you'd like to be able to do with these characters of yours? Please tell me your backgrounds, how you came to become members of this organization, and your personal goals, what you'd like to accomplish by adventuring. Backgrind? Good goals? <laughs> yes, in this interstellar game of exploration, adventure and combat, which of those would you enjoy doing the most? Um, all three sounds fun. Okay, but uh, what sort of theme or setting would you enjoy adventuring in the most? There's endless types of planets out there. Presuming you intend to land on one and go exploring. What type of planet would you like to go explore? High tech, low tech, null tech? Young, old, artificial, with or without sentient life. You're the GM. Isn't this all supposed to be your job? Oh. I'm trying to cater my campaign to my players. Easiest way to make sure you're all having fun is to make sure it's a general setting you all find enjoyable. If you all signed on for Star Wars and I threw you into a Dead Space game, you'd probably be a little upset by that. So I'm asking before we start, what do you want to do with your characters? Like, just go on an adventure? What kind? I don't care. Surprise us. Oh, what do you do? What do you do? Is getting the basic answer to what do you want to do for fun? Supposed to be like pulling teeth without anaesthetic? Just tell me what you find fun. <laughs> <laughs> look, look. I'm just saying, in our current game at the minute, Spelljammer session, or Spelljammer campaign setting, um, there is a dino planet, which we should definitely be going to more often because it's a fucking dino planet. Yeah, but you did kill your dinosaur. I didn't kill my dinosaur. You did it, kill di your dinosaur. I, it died. Okay. You used it as a big shield. I did use it as a big shield, but Gobby didn't die, and that was your important. It was a very expensive meat shield. 
Well, we'll get another one then. I, I, I did sell them to the gnome magic shop to get some tut, hide armor. But... Tut, tut, tut. Well, you haven't done anything with your dinosaur, just saying. What the fuck can I do with my di- My dinosaur is the size of a collie that I can strap a skateboard to the back <laughs> of. I can't do anything with my dinosaur. Well, I'm sure he's a very good boy. He is a good boy. Yeah. Called Stompy. He's not very big, though. No. <laughs> that's why he's called Stompy. Oh, God's sake. <laughs> anyway, anyway, look, I think that's where we're going to end it. Let us know what you think. What have you have been having any issues with players, with players? or have th- you had ones in the past? I think we've been getting more than most recently. I think especially with Kuna, most people are getting online. Online, yeah. Like you know, you do run into some pretty like mentals on Discord from time to time. Yeah. And it is hard to find good people to play with. I think I'm quite happy with what we've got at the moment. Yeah, I I'm think, happy with our group. I think I'm it's very happy. Little. And it's hard to it's hard to find that, you know. So you know, I hope you guys. Ha <laughs> <laughs> oh, ha! We have a screw you guys. You got a good grip. <laughs> finally, no, no, I'm not saying like that. But you know what I mean. It is hard to find decent people to play yeah. with. So I hope you guys find someone decent out there. To play yeah. with. You know, when it's not just cringe yeah. all the time. <laughs> Ugh. Anyway, anyway, hope you guys enjoy. Remember, check out the advert. Yeah, all check out all. the links. Check out everything. Subscribe and hit the notification bell when you're up there, so you get notified anytime we post. And we will see you in the next video. Bye.